Hello, here's a quick tutorial on how to post something to a Facebook page. Now, you might think that's really obvious, you've been using Facebook for years, it's really dead simple to post something to Facebook, but there are things you can do that can make your, your posting a little bit better, um, and I'm gonna run you through, I'm gonna run you through them quickly. So let's say, for example, we have the story on our website and we want to share it with people on Facebook. The way most people share a story, um, is either through clicking a share button at the bottom, which I'm not going to do just now, or by copying the link and posting it. That's the normal way of sharing. And that's fine, it's not too bad, it looks okay, it works. Um, however, you don't have much control over what comes up. Now in this instance, the great picture from the story um, has popped up and uh, I'm really happy with it, but it might not actually it might not actually have come up. Sometimes Facebook chooses the wrong image or just chooses some random image from a page. Also, I've got this link here, which doesn't look quite as nice as, as it could. So I'm gonna show you another way of posting, which I think is a little better. So we do the same thing, grab the link, go back to Facebook, paste the link in, and then wait for it to load. And uh, it's chosen an image that I'm happy with, but if I don't like it, I can choose another one and I can upload an image which is more appropriate. In this case, I'm gonna stay with this image. The other thing I can do now is because it's loaded that story, I can delete the link. It looks a little bit better. And uh, it's, very, it's a very good idea to write something about what you're posting on Facebook to explain to people why it's important. And, uh, and also to mention the people involved, particularly for political work where you're trying to build up a bit of a community and network around political struggles. So in, in this case, it's the Irish Union SIP2. So I'm gonna write something like uh, solidarity with uh, SIP2. And as soon as you start typing, uh, Facebook will find the address of the organization. Sorry, that didn't work. And bring it up as a link. Um, SIP2 members protesting against cuts and uh, there is actually a, a hashtag for this particular protest which is this one here one united voice now hashtags do work on Facebook though not a lot of people use them Now, of course, I could have written a lot more telling you why it's important, but this is really just to demonstrate what can be done. The other thing that you can do um, is if you don't think that this is the kind of dramatic headline that's going to get people's attention, you can click on it, change it, and say whatever you like. Um, SIP2 members stand up for communities. Let's say we thought that was a better heading. And the descriptive text you can you can change as well. So uh, you know I could choose anything. I could write something specific, um, or I could just copy a little bit of text from the story that I thought was appropriate. But you can actually edit the text so that the post says the same the, the thing that you like. So now I'm ready to post. I can post it now, or um, I can schedule the post. And the reason I might want to do that is you get to know your audience and you get to know when they use Facebook and they are probably more likely to use it in the early evening than during the day. Most people are at work during the day and they'll grab a quick look at Facebook on their phone when they have a break but they won't spend as much time. So if you want to reach people it might be better to, to schedule the post to appear in the evening or even tomorrow morning first thing or whenever it is. Think it through, get to know your audience, decide when to, to post it. Let's say we were going to post it now, we just click post and you'll see there it comes up and I think it looks a little bit better than the bottom example because you're mentioning SIP2 and if you hover over that link their Facebook page pops up and what you're doing is you're inviting your followers to to like and follow that page as well which just helps to build a bit of community and you can see over here here's the link here's the the hashtag but yeah I think that that is a better way of doing Facebook um, it, it's a little bit cleaner, it gives people a bit more information and it organizes the stories better. Um, if you then want to make sure that it gets across to a wider audience and you have a bit of a budget, you can click boost post and uh, you can then pay to advertise the story. And let's say we don't have a lot of money so we've only got a fiver to put to it. 
um, and we can decide that because this is an Irish story we want the story to be shown to people in Ireland and we select Ireland we're happy with the age range and it being shown to both men and women click save and uh, it says it's going to show to up to 13,000 people for, for that five for that five pounds and that's before other people like and share it so I might decide that it's worth doing in which case I click boost okay I hope that helps